Hey guys, Chris Cooley Shooter. I got a kind of a little unboxing, uh, just a, something a little different today. Um, I got my uh, my G20, my Glock, my 10 mil. Um, you guys have seen a few videos with it. Big fan. Um, you know that big frame. We're out at the range again today. It's quiet there's no one else out here so we're in a safe area um we'll just go ahead and make sure the gun there's no no mag in there uh firearms unloaded so we'll just set that down um i got three mags um so we're gonna do a little shooting we're gonna do a little different today um it's uh the the 10 mil in this in this frame is a very um uh, multi-use um, multi-caliber if you're not familiar um, we got uh, this is a this is a 10 millimeter cartridge right here and uh, this is what uh, it was originally um, you know designed from I don't have anything super fancy for as far as 10 mils it's pretty hard to find um, and then this is a 40 this is kind of what uh, you know you can see they're they're pretty much the same except uh, just a little bit shorter on the case length which then a little less powder a little less recoil a little bit more manageable that was kind of the theory behind it now some people say you can shoot the 40 Smith & Wesson right out of a 10 millimeter um, just because it's, there's no it's the same but um, I feel like that would be hard on the uh, uh, hard on the on the chamber or more like the throat there where the um, the key seats and stuff so um, I, I've been for a while I've been looking for uh, um, a replacement barrel uh, for the for the 20 because it's a beefier size and uh, and I, I finally found one and uh so that's what we're gonna do i just picked it up from the mail today or like half an hour ago so i haven't even pulled it out of the package so i picked up an alpha wolf and uh yeah you can tell by the price tag it is not cheap uh it's supposed to fit the glock 20 it's 40 smith and wesson stock length um fluted um usa uh, and the one nice thing is it's you know lead uh, bullets you can fire out of here whereas Glock are not uh, big on lead um, but we'll uh, we'll see how it works um, I've seen some of the guys online um, and there's a bit of a break-in period um, with these barrels so I'm not sure so let's just open it up and have a look the nice thing about it is, is it's just a straight barrel swap. I can use the same recoil, uh, spring, everything else. It's just a straight barrel swap. Um, you can also actually get the, uh, I think it's called the 2357 for 357 SIG. I'm also in the market for that. Um, I just like to have that conversion interchangeability um, because it's all derived from that 10 mil case. So all the um, the magazine everything with the magazine will work um so like i've never actually put a 40 in here but yeah i mean we will we'll see so we're not gonna have any loaded mags right now uh, we'll do a little bit of shooting here in a bit so again clear we'll uh take take it down we're just gotta be very careful today that we don't mess up what we're shooting because we do not want to put a 10 mil on a 40 barrel. So, so here's the OEM barrel, the uh, 10 mil barrel. That's a little dirty, I should probably clean that. I'm gonna put it right in there with the 10 mil ammo. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see. So it's got a nice finish. It's supposed to have a better feed ramp and a few other things you guys are saying online. So, um, we will, uh, we'll see. Okay, well, that all fits. Yeah, 
it would be nice if it would say that uh, you know it's a 40 Smith and Wesson barrel you know visible for uh, for anybody to see um, just because I don't know for sure what we're gonna do is take a 40 Smith and Wesson case make sure that drops in make sure 10 mil doesn't no nope, you can tell there's a big difference there okay not that I didn't trust them it's just I mean they have their information there where it'd be nice if it was there or something up there at least to be able to read so we'll put her back together Feels like it's uh it's all squared away so all right guys um gonna load up some eggs here and then uh we'll get after and get a little shooting hey in guys welcome back um we're all uh set up here got three mags 40 with our new alpha wolf barrel 40 smith and wesson out of the, the g20 all right well without further ado Give her a go. Woo. So far, cycling. Definitely liking that. Yeah, even left-handed, shoot it. That big frame really does kind of absorb. I haven't shot much 40 in a while.
But uh, yeah, sorry about the wind guys, I think it's picking up again. Every time I want to come out here and do some shooting, it does that. But let's see if we can hit some more of those flipper targets. What the fuck? All right, how many we got left? Three. See if I can hit the hit three of the plate rack from here. Nope. Keep shooting right over top. I guess I got to figure out uh, where this thing's shooting. Um, you know, paper it a little bit and give her a go. But yeah. this thing shooting um, you know a new gun now I have something else to shoot 40 um, before I only I only had my CZ 75 and uh, so now at least I got this so if I find a good deal it's 40 Smith and Wesson ammo at least I can, uh, can shoot it as well and you know and swap with a 10 mil you know so makes this uh, makes the the gun purchase a little bit more uh, more user friendly so and if I want to shoot some lead out of this, I, I can. Um, not that I shoot a lot of lead, uh, a hard cast or anything like that. So, but uh, yeah. Aside from that first time when I went to drop the slide, it just didn't want to slingshot. I don't even know. I didn't really pay much attention to it. But then, yeah. I mean, if you, uh, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, you just look, see how nice and tight it fits so yeah right on guys uh thanks for watching
like, subscribe, uh, get out there, join a gun club, uh, do, you know, do some shooting, bring somebody out there with you, and, uh, you know, or do the conservation thing, you know, uh, conservation, uh, get out there and, uh, you know, enjoy, enjoy the outdoors, beautiful day, I'll be in a little windy again, but it's Saskatchewan, so, yeah, I mean, we get, it's all we ever get out here, so, um, yeah, cheers guys.